Now, the death of Ghana's Deputy Finance Minister, John Kuma, has triggered a by-election in a Jisu constituency in the Ashanti region in Ghana, where he served as a member of parliament since 2021. Kuma is said to have passed away last Thursday after a brief illness. Meanwhile, the general elections will hold uh, in December 7, 2024, and will determine the presidency and members of parliament. The opposition party, National Democratic Congress, has suggested the use of drones, saying it will be aimed at saying it would help in preventing potential irregularities in the general election. At this point, joining us on the news to talk more about this is David Osabute, convener, Model Equa Summit, and is also a political analyst. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, hi, good afternoon, and thank you for having me on your show. So um, let's start from um, the issue around uh, John Kuma, the late Deputy Finance Minister who recently died. Well, it was on the floor of the Parliament earlier this week, and it was scheduled to contribute to the debate on the budget on Thursday and Friday. But now his death must have come as a real shock to the country, the legislative arm, and of course, by a large extension, are Ghanaian citizens. Would you, how would you describe him? How would you describe his role and um, his contribution to the political and financial space in Ghana? Right, thank you so much. Uh, so the uh, rightly said that uh, John Kuma was the deputy finance finance minister and uh, the role of a deputy finance minister plays a very important role uh, in, uh, in, in Ghana's economy. So, uh, and then to have lost uh, such a brilliant uh, young man for, for us, uh, as the people of Ghana is something that uh, you know it, it hasn't uh, gone down well with with us. And then also, if you look at the the composition of Parliament now, uh, now there there seem to be uh, what's the name an an even spread in terms of the number of members of Parliament on both the the MPP side and then the NDC side. So it means that what that means is that uh, losing John Kuma would 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 means that. Uh, MPP and NDC is going to be on the on the same level in terms of the the number of their members of parliament uh, uh, in parliament. But John 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 Kume's death, uh, a lot of Ghanaians didn't expect it, and for us, it's a very unfortunate development. All right, let's now look at um, the uh, political parties in Ghana. Looking at the elections that will be coming up uh, in a couple of months, around December, thereabouts. Now, we see the opposition party, that is yeah. the National Democratic Congress, can vast for the use of drones to monitor elections. Do you consider that novel and probably a potent way of ensuring free, fair, and credible elections? Uh, well, as to whether, as to whether it's, it's, it's novel, I think that I will leave that to the, to the Electoral Commission of Ghana. The Electoral Commission of Ghana is mandated by our, our constitution to to determine the rules of uh, the the rules and regulations when 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 it comes to credible free 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 and fair elections and then and then the the proposal from the from the national democratic congress to deploy drones uh, for this election i think that 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 conversation would need to be to be had with the with the electoral commission the the national democratic congress wouldn't should would not be able to do anything without uh, consulting the electoral commission or without working uh, hand in hand with the electoral commission, so I think that we should leave that for the electoral commission. Uh, already, already, uh, electoral commission uh, has raised some reservation about the use of drones uh, already, as proposed by the by the National Democratic Congress. And I think that that is a conversation that the the NDC must have with the electoral commission, and for us to be able to align and agree on what the modalities are going into. Uh, the elections on on uh, on on seven December twenty twenty four. Okay, so uh, we see that um, the general elections will determine not only the president but also members of parliament. With a power tussle between Ghana's two leading political parties, uh, Nana Kufuado's New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress. Now, what are the political intrigues at play, and do you see the ruling party consolidating its uh, position through the ballot? I think that largely the the elections this year will be driven by by the by the economy. It will be driven by the by the economy. It will be driven by by the track record 
of the current uh, polit political party, that's the, the, the new patriotic party, whether the MPP is going to win the elections or not, it will depend on their track record, the eight years that the they, have, they, they have been in power, whether the, the NDC is going to uh, do a, a comeback, and then you should also uh, to just throw more, more light on this. This is the very first time uh, in Ghana political history that we are having a former president come back and contest for the office of the president as to whether he's going to, he's going to win. I think that we need to leave that for the for the people of Ghana to to determine. And it would also be dependent on what economic policies his track record when when he was he was president as compared to to the to the current uh, political party with it. so largely it's going to be uh, issues such as uh, inflation will determine who wins elections issues such as uh, interest rate so largely employment rate all those things are going to determine who wins the 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 elections come december 7 2024 well, definitely, New Central will keep uh, our eyes on these elections. Very, very pivotal um, for Africa and West Africa. Now, thank you so much, um, David Asabute, for talking to us. All right, thank you for having me.